Okay, so we're going to start off where we left off on the last video. We now have an assembled puzzle cube. Now what next? What after you have an assembled puzzle cube? Well, you are going to open up every file and you are going to give me a picture of everything that you have all in one. You're going to uh, open up all of your individual pieces, open up your puzzle block, and arrange them so they're really nice and presentable. And then you're going to take a snippet. A snippet is just this tool right here. Click on Snipping Tool, and you simply drag it across, and it takes a picture of what you actually want to display. So you're going to take a picture of all your work right there. Now besides the snippet, you're also going to do a presentation. And this is a presentation. A presentation is basically an exploded view of all your pieces. It's pretty darn cool. Um, now the neat thing about presentations is you can also animate them. So if you wanted to actually go transformers up in here and have your block assemble on the screen, you can, which is very, very cool. Um, so let's go ahead and actually make a presentation so you can see what all is involved. Um, we are going to Autodesk Inventor, uh, New, and then Presentation right there. Create the view, and we're going to import our finished puzzle cube. Click OK. Um, now one thing I should show you, let me show you this really quick. You can do this automatically. Okay, when we create a view, you can click on automatic, and it will automatically explode it. So you can, let's say we want them two inches apart, and see it automatically goes ahead and gives you an exploded view. It's not always the most attractive exploded view, which is why I really don't like doing the automatic. I like doing manual so we have a little bit more control over um, what we're actually doing. Now from here, I'm going to click on Tweak Components and keep it on Direction. And let's see, I'm going to want to take this in that direction right there. Now also, I can take it in the uh, X direction. So you see right here, it has the X, Y, Z. And X, Y, and Z is coming out at me. So I can tweak this however I want. So let's say I want to rotate this a little, and I want it to come out this way. See that blue line? That's called a trail origin, and it's pretty cool. That is basically the assembly way that it's going to go. So I tweak that component right there. Now. Let's see, I'm going to rotate so I can choose my next component, and I have my green L. I'm going to click direction, and my Z, and there we go, pull that out right there, rotate it, so that's pretty decent. Now I need to get my magenta piece out of there. So click Y, okay, and now, let's see, just my orange piece really has to be disassembled. So direction and X, there you go, zoom out and everything is apart. Okay, so we've got an exploded view. You are going to then save this. Um, so right here, file, save as. Uh, Bach puzzle presentation. Save. And it asks me, you know, do you want to save the changes to the presentation dependence? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay, so now I have that actually saved, which is very cool. Now the thing that you're going to want besides this is the video. Um, this is the video right here. So the repetitions is how many times the video actually runs. The interval is how long the video takes. So I'm going to take this down to about 10 seconds or so. And I'm going to have this run three times. Click Apply. 
So now these pieces are actually programmed. And you can actually move this around so you get the best view. And just click play. So you can see all my pieces are going together. And they're going transformers up in there. And we can actually move this around while it's record or while it's playing. And you can see each piece follows the trail origin, which is very cool. Now this means that you can play with your trail origins and everything to make the coolest video possible. When you are all satisfied, <laughs> excuse me, when you are all satisfied with your video and how you know everything actually works, you are going to click record uh, and you're going to save it. So Bach. Uh, Bach Puzzle Pleasant Presentation Video, click Save, then you, what image size, you want it the biggest, you want it, you know, pretty good, and then when you're ready for it, you just click Play, and this now makes a video, a movie, of what your block actually is, and you are going to actually submit that video into the LMS as well. We're going to be playing these video. So make your assembly as complicated and as cool as you want to, the trail origins. Have it repeat about three or four times so we get a good look at it. And when you are all said and done, you are going to submit that video. Okay, so this is kind of a complicated topic. So I want you to stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need in order to get the concept.